Hi, I'm Michelle Borre and my husband and I have been farming in the Lower Waitaki Plains for 20 odd years. I'm Rogan Borre, we've got a 500 cow dairy farm here, it's one of three dairy farms, we milk 2,500 cows winter. Obviously things move forward and for environmental reasons we decided to put a feed pad on this 450-500 cow dairy farm. Our decision came from hard wintering when we got a lot of rain and it was just hard enough to sort the cows and mud and stuff so we thought there must be an easier way. So really we put our heads together and Rogan and myself we went and visited a few dairy farms and we were very lucky that farmers around New Zealand were good enough to let us come onto their properties to have a look at their systems that they run. We saw ones we liked but a lot of them had wood chips where we think wood chips are getting harder to get and dearer. So we wanted to go rubber matting option so we paid once and then it's there for good. So that's why we went to Newmap and after talking to them they were very keen to come on board and were very enthusiastic and wanted to come and build it for us. So we thought well why not and we're very happy with the results. We've been using it over the last week, 10 days and it's been working awesomely with the cows being fed uh, 3 to 4 k's of maize silage and grass silage on it set a gate timer and the cows walk to the feed pad and I've eaten their silage on the feed pad and then they're right beside the cow shed for milking. The reason why we went with this design is one, we like simplicity. We didn't want to have robots and all that stuff because they're just things to break down. And we just like this design because it's so simple. There's a scraper for the tractor and motorbike and a wheel pusher in to push the silage in. The shear milk has got a silage wagon to feed the silage out so there's no mix of wagons. There's nothing really to break down. Winter time, we plan to lock them on the feed pad and feed them just maize silage and grass silage and that's where they'll stay 24-7. So we're just waiting to see how that goes, time will tell. I suppose Rogan, I've, I've worked with a lot of building agencies and stuff with lots of things happening on farm constantly, so the new map just this very smooth. Yeah, there was nothing that really jumped out at us. If this works, we've got two other dairy farms, uh, one's 600 cows and one's 1,100 cows. As we can afford it, we'll probably replicate what we've done.